Hi guys, so I'm going to make this a quick one. I created this soft smoky cut crease and I've already prepped and primed my eyelids. Please never wear eyeshadow without priming your eyelids, it is that important. Um, so first I'm going in with the shade Sandalwood from the Huda Beauty palette on my Zoeva 228 brush and using that as my transition shade to buff it into the crease. You don't have to use this palette, you can use any eyeshadows. These eyeshadows are so in at the moment, Morphe has some really good shadows, so you can just kind of like use whatever you have and then the next color I'm going in with is called henna from the same palette and I'm taking this on my coastal scents fluffy brush it's quite an old brush so I'm not too sure it doesn't really have a name on it um, and I'm just buffing that to deepen up the crease right below the shade sandalwood next I'm taking the shade cypress umber no wait I think I'm talking about the wrong palette I'm talking about the modern renaissance palette I'm getting the two confused um, I'm taking the shade cocoa which is also a warm brown from the huda beauty palette both you can use both palettes to create this look, they have very similar shades, well especially in what I'm using in this video. And I'm taking that on an angled liner brush to cut out my outer V, and then I'm taking a small detailer brush. This is a Hakuhodo brush, it doesn't have a number on it even when I bought it, but um, Zoeva have a similar brush, it's just, I think they're small detailer brush. And I'm using that to fill in and shade the outer corner with the same shade Coco. Next I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Cream Shadow in Copper. This shade was a part of her birthday collection, but I think she has a similar shade. It's just like a beautiful goldy coppery shade. You can use any kind of cream shadow, but I think using cream shadow is more important here to cut out your crease because it's so pigmented and creamy that it will just glide on really neatly. So anything that was messy to begin with when it came to like blending or when you cut out your outer V, it can all be covered up using this cream shadow key there is to use a flat synthetic brush to help you perfectly carve out your crease shape. So next I'm going in with the shade Moon Dust on my Diddy Morphe brush and I'm applying that in my inner corner and under my brow. The nice thing about this look is because you've smoked out your outer corner, you don't necessarily have to go in with a winged eyeliner, you can just put on your lashes or if you don't like wearing lashes, um, you don't have to put on your lashes either but I just personally feel like wearing lashes will complete the look. Um, but I am doing just a thin winged eyeliner and I'm using my Inglot number no. 77 gel eyeliner and my Sigma E06 brush as usual. Going back into the eyeshadow, I'm going in with the shade Black Truffle which is just a matte black eyeshadow and I'm taking that on a liner brush just to deepen out the outer corner where the outer corner reaches the eyeliner I'm just placing that shade and then I'm taking the small detailer brush and blending that out For the waterline I thought that a nude would really complement this look so I went in with the Rimmel um, eyeliner pencil in nude and I kept the lower lash line quite simple, I've just gone in with the shade Henna and then also Black Truffle. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this look, let me know what you want to see down below, don't forget to find me on Instagram at MakeupByAJ and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time, bye!